So this is an example of a previous student from the last time the class was offered. Let me just show you a few examples of student work. So I'm just going to play this. Obviously, imagine that this is on a real device. So it should have sound. Okay, it'll probably have sound when it starts. Okay, so it's just going to be the... So this... Obviously, this will be on a real device. You'll be able to design every aspect of it. This is a character that shall be created for the enemy. We're able to simulate a um, an actual game touch and everything right here. We have this touch, and I'll show you this when we do it. But I can turn on touch, and it's like, OK, I can touch the actual game. So I can go to a help screen and it'll tell you, well, what do you have to do? What's the objective, a story, whatever. You'll be able to design all of this. There'll be various scenes. And there'll be, of course, the requirement checklist of what you need to do. Uh, I'll need to go from one scene to another. That's related to what we did last time, which, of course, we'll expand upon. So here's how the game works. Okay, whatever I want to play, click start. So you're going to design the sprites and the level and all of that. And we're going to have a timer going on. I have to tap the things, and I have to get points. I'm going to tap it over here. Oh, I'm really bad at it. I'm not getting any points. There we go. Points. So then I have that. Oh, here comes the boss. i got to kill the boss. I have an XP. Oh, it's coming, and I couldn't quite do it, and it either crashed or something. Okay, so it might have crashed, but it's coming at you. Here comes a boss character. You have to tap it. It has, X, it has HP, uh, and then eventually there's the ending of you win or you lose and it's keeping track of your hit points. Now, you, of course, can make it last as long as you want. Let me just play again. You can um, have, like, multiple waves of attackers and all of that. There's going to be a minimum of what you can do. Let me just try that one more time. So I'm going to go here, start, I'm going to tap some of these. Maybe some of them give you points, maybe some of them take away points. See, look at that, I had 10 points, now I'm back to down to 5. So you'll be able to program it that different sprites do different things. And you'll be able to change the, the movement pattern and so forth. And, and yeah, I guess for some reason it crashes at that point. Well, imagine either it then uh, gives me the good ending or the bad ending and then a way to play it again or to exit. So I'll have, the, I'll have some various examples on real tablets so you can see it like on a real tablet. But let me show another one. Let me see if this one doesn't crash over here. Let's open another one from another student of that same semester. So they did everything that, that you're going to do. You're going to learn about going to different scenes, adding music, adding hit detection, and so forth. This one is Jason. So, so here's how to play. You tap the goblins until they're dead. Okay, so then we can start. And now this one's obviously a lot more going on. Well, I don't want to get hit by those over there. Oops, that's negative points. Maybe click these over here. So the general idea you're going to see over and over, there's going to be as many waves as you want, and there's going to be different patterns as you want, and then eventually there's a boss coming at you, and you have to retry that. And um, various sound effects as you hit things. Another one. Is game chart or actually for <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so you'll need to design eventually when it's a real app. Remember I said you've also got your, your icon, your little icon for your app and everything. So you're going to design the icon, you're going to set up your sounds, program the hit detection, do all that, all that stuff. And these are real apps that go to the real app store. So if you want to take it to that level, you would be able to publish your apps to the real app store. I am purposely showing you the best ones first, so you'll need to, you'll need to uh, step up your game. So. Okay, so do not attack the peaceful dwellers. Attack any monsters in evil forests. So some of these give you plus points, minus points. So you see, everyone's got the same sort of parameters. You have various scenes, an intro scene, a help scene, wave one, wave two, boss scene, good ending, bad ending, etc. And within those parameters, people go with a variety of ideas. So banish to the <laughs> banished it to the terror inside the forest. So I got 20 points on that, and you see the idea, various ideas. And again, I'll put these in real tablets a little bit later. Let's do one more, and then we'll um, we'll actually get started. Um, let's see here. So this is the idea of that terror frenzy type of game. So, play again or not. Now, um, this is the idea then. We are going to create our own versions of these things. Uh, we're going to take a couple of weeks to learn the programming and such, uh, and then the time for you to work on as well. So, now that you have that idea, uh, now that you've seen those examples, you'll see how you'll take your current uh, sprites, your current characters, and think about how to put them together, something like that. So, what we need to do is... Um, to get started here, we're going to create a brand new project so that we can uh, start to practice with this.